okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. So uh, you heard of stand-up comedy. Uh, this is more of like a lie-down situation. Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't know. What, what was the joke? It's like, do I start with... You know this Sarah Silverman? You, just, you probably fantasized about her before, you know? I mean, like, your subconscious... <laughs> making making all sorts of sexy dreams and stuff up about her. Maybe not, maybe not. She had that diarrhea joke there. Uh, I don't know if you caught that one. It was saying about uh, how the Jews... Uh, every two weeks they can't go into the pool. Yeah, I'm butchering this thing, but if you checked out her Mein Kampf uh, comedy special, uh, My Struggle, I think it's not called. Uh... <laughs> oh... Yeah. But, uh, you know, I was thinking, I'm, I'm there with my dad the other day, and he's like, when, when was it that, uh, you know, I, I've, I've got a bank there that, uh, they were once based in Nova Scotia, I don't want to be all whatever and say who I'm talking about, but, um, anyways, they send me this letter, they're like, oh, I don't know, it's, uh, you know, you might have stolen your own PlayStation and you're, like, it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, clearly, the thing hasn't been used in that way for <laughs> like it has never been used in that way and now all of a sudden I'm spending like thousands of dollars on uh, like imaginary coins and things like that you know, from various different types of video games and so there's this piece of paper and my dad's going like, when, when did this piece of paper come in the mail? And I'm thinking like, I know it wasn't yesterday. Um, and it was like, I'm standing there and I know who I was with and whatever else, like the checking the mail that day, I, I can remember it, but it's like, how are you supposed to remember whether or not you had diarrhea in the last two weeks? That's literally what I don't get. Like, you can't go into a pool without having diarrhea in two weeks? How is this a sign? And I get that she needs to make a joke about it, but it's like then she has to go and interview... Another Jewy person from the audience, no offense, but she's a Jewish. I don't want to offend anybody, but Sarah Silverman. Yeah. Anyways. Just... Sorry, I don't have a kickstand for my phone. Uh, I had to improvise. But uh, I hope that you're having a good day and uh, many blessings to you. Many blessings to you. That's what uh, King David used to say, you know. <laughs> you gotta make sure you talk to your neighbors. Anyway.
I got these South Americans living upstairs. They fucking snuck into the house when I was in the hospital. So, I don't, I don't know, man. It's like, what do you do? You call the city, you call pest control. Uh, maybe you got a hockey boy you can call. Or a bold Morty. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, what am I supposed to do? Climb the fire escape and just be like, Hey, can you make sure to call the police on me because I own the house? What? My bedroom's in there, man. Like, that's that's where the... Yeah, okay, the fire department wants me to patch up a hole in the wall. All right, yeah. I know... It's really hard to follow. What? How do you follow this guy? It's, there's a thing in the middle of his face. But yeah. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Lydia. Yeah, we'll patch up the hole. No problem. Then if you go to the hospital, you got a South American problem. So, like... And no offense, but these South Americans, they know how to, like, barricade themselves somewhere and just be like, Okay, okay, we don't have to do anything. That's no problem. Uh, like, when you see them, they can just, like, run away. They scatter like a mouse. Like, ah, I gotta go now. Lock themselves. and Like, what the fuck? It's like... What? Resorting to comedy. This is my brain just like. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Make homeless people? I get locked up in the fucking hospital. Finally, friggin' come off. I don't know if anybody's been on these friggin' drugs before, but they basically make you. Your brain, like, doesn't work. They want you to have your brain not working. So, uh, like, ask the psychiatrist, like, you ever taken these pills, uh, you ever, you ever done the, the, oh, no, well, I mean, I would take them if I needed them, but, uh, you know, it's like, well, like, what about a person who's like, hey, whoa, 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 I don't need this stuff. And they're like, oh, well, you know. I would give my health whatever if I, like, no, what, what are you talking about? I know that I wouldn't, I know that I wouldn't give up my decision making for my own health. It's like, wh what am I going to do? Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, this, this person over here is going to instruct you whether or not when to cross the street. I'm not going to trust somebody else telling me when to cross the street. And even if I am taking in their decisions, like, at the end of the day, I'm still the one who picks up my own fucking feet and crosses the street for me. This medicine bullshit that we've got going on, it's like, unbelievable how they can... Holy shit. But, you know, uh, it's uh, I shouldn't even be talking about it. I I wish I was still thinking about, you know, it it wasn't Sarah Silverman giving me that blowjob in the dream, but uh, I'm not supposed to talk about sexy things. I I'm not I'm not supposed to talk about sexy things. Whether or not it was discreetly in a washroom. <laughs> Whether or not. Yeah, he's my brother. You see that Twins movie? <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I, I think... I, I don't gotta go, but I think it's probably wise to go now. Hey, uh... All right.